hello my gems welcome back to this channel it's crystal how are you guys today my voice my voice is still not at a hundred percent so i apologize in advance today we will be discussing the dream girl concept i get a lot of questions from you guys on instagram where you're either telling me about some unfavorable behavior that's taking place in your relationship and you're looking for advice so i'm making this video today to kind of encapsulate my feelings on treatment in a relationship how it relates to femininity and how to really measure your value in the relationship so that you can then make a decision on what works best for you and what is going to make you happy and what correlates and aligns with the treatment and the desirability that you are looking for in your relationships so i hope this helps and make sure you take notes and we're going to do some soul searching at the end so make sure you like and subscribe leave a comment if you would like let's get into today's topic so i will be discussing two models of women or two types of women or two categories of women that men typically can place women in. I feel as though there are way more categories, but for the purposes of this video, we will be just focusing on two categories. The two categories are the dream girl or the dream woman and the placeholder girl or the placeholder woman. And based on the category we are assigned, we receive certain treatment. So there are reasons outside of these two categories that we're going to discuss that point to why he may not treat you well. In other words, outside of being the dream girl and or the placeholder, these are a list of five reasons. Five reasons that he just may not treat you well. Number one is he is incapable of treating anyone well. So this is a severely broken and bitter and damaged man. No matter who comes into his life, no matter what attributes she has, no matter what kind of values she has, he is going to devalue every woman that steps into his life because he is broken beyond repair. And ladies, what do we do with these types of men? We just gracefully bow out. We don't try to figure out why is it that they are the way they are. Oh, maybe I can fix him. Your hands were not made to fix a broken man or a bitter man. Who cares why he is the way he is? That is not your concern. Your concern is to seek and zero in on the man who encompasses the traits and characteristics that are going to keep you in your feminine and it differs from woman to woman right so reason number one that he's not treating you right he just doesn't he's not he's incapable of treating anyone right okay number two he has an undiagnosed personality disorder or a mental or emotional health issue so personality disorders they cannot be cured there's no way for it to be remedied or bettered in any way. You can't, the person who has a personality disorder, they can get on medications to subdue the highs and lows they may experience as a result of this personality disorder, but there's no way for it to diminish completely. So yeah personality disorders can be extremely detrimental to anyone who has them and the people in close proximity to that person mental health is important but again it's not your job to figure out why they are the way they are and don't blame it on their childhood don't you know be the person who puts themselves in the position where they think they're going to be the exception no if the person is volatile for example or you know they're just showing signs of inconsistencies and danger then you should just leave and wish them the best and move on 
It's not your job. You're not a psychiatrist. You're not a psychologist. And even the psychiatrists and psychologists can be fooled sometimes by if they're not properly trained in a specific way to identify the nature of these people, the true nature of these people. So number three reason that he will not be able to treat you well is he may be a misogynist. He doesn't like women. He doesn't see women as equal. Number four, he may think that he's the prize. So any relationship where there is an imbalance or a role reversal, there will be imbalance, which is going to lead to injury of your femininity or your feminine divine. Any man who thinks he's the prize you should not be in any kind of romantic interaction with him because you as the woman are the prize you are the receiver you're the person who is supposed to be chased and sought after women who seek men who view them as a prize are setting themselves up to win if you're looking to rest in your feminine you cannot deal with certain men who believe that they are the prize the fifth and final reason as to why he may not be able to treat you well is because he may be confused about his sexuality. Men who are confused about their sexuality or know their sexuality but because of the community or the religion or the country that they're connected to or that they live in, they're not able to express themselves the way that they wish. So. If a man is confused about his sexuality and he's pressured by society to not be his true self, he is going to treat any woman he comes in contact with poorly. It doesn't matter how amazing and feminine and sweet and patient she is, the fact that he's being forced to be with a woman and he does not want to be with a woman and he's angry about the fact that he is the way he is and he's attracted to men he you're not going to fare well in a situation like that and um he's he's basically going to end up taking out all of his frustration on the woman and just not treating her well um uh yeah so and if you find yourself in a position where you know that this person may have maybe um, on the down low or something like that don't ever bring it up to them because you're going to put yourself in danger just observe and act accordingly so a lot of these like role reversal guys who like you know it, it almost seems like from the outside looking in it almost seems like wow you're acting like you want a man too you know they they don't want to assume the masculine role they are they despise the fact that they need to protect and provide it's unnatural for them i believe because many of them are looking for a man there's no way to really determine if someone has any of these issues until you spend time with them which is why it's important to date with intelligence with discernment and with an adequate speed no rushing you know you should be observing a lot and not saying too much or not revealing too much about yourself and yeah so those are the five reasons outside of whether or not you're a dream girl that may determine the treatment that you are receiving from men or that you can receive from a man in a romantic sense let's talk about the dream girl who is she? Who is this dream girl that everyone's talking about? A dream woman or a dream girl is a man's ideal woman. When he fantasizes about a woman, whether it be sexually or when he's visualizing his future and his future family and what his uh, future family will look like and things like that, this is the woman who is present in his fantasies. She is his version of feminine perfection. A man's dream girl acquires mentality, the look, the physique, the approach to life, the class level, the 
the value system that he desires to be passed on to his children, her style, and the approach to life that he deems fit. A man will do anything for his dream woman. He will give his life, he will go to war, he will defend her honor till he draws his very last breath. Like he takes it very seriously. This is not something that um, he plays with. He doesn't play around when it comes to his dream girl now, his dream woman. It doesn't matter what other people say. Like he will be like, no, this is, this is my woman and he won't be afraid to claim you or to tell people about you or to present you in society as his woman or his wife. She has everything that he's looking for in a partner or that he deems fit in the partner. Physique wise, look wise, um, the value system, her mindset, the approach to life, like how she approaches things, how she does things. This is his ideal. So of course, the, the dream girl or the dream woman differs from man to man. So one man's dream girl can differ from the next man. And this is the woman, however, the dream woman is the woman that each man strives to obtain when he is at his highest and when he can preserve her femininity in the best way. He sees her as the ultimate prize. The dream woman knows her worth. She has high self-esteem. She has high standards and she only goes where she's celebrated. What is the placeholder woman? Who is she? The placeholder woman now, on the contrary, she is not by any means his ideal. It just got so dark. <laughs> uh, so the placeholder woman or the placeholder girl, the placeholder she is good enough for right now. She is a short-term option for a man who is at a low point in his life. Like if he's in the building stage of his life, for example, a placeholder woman will be by his side. And reason being is he can't afford the dream girl right now. He cannot afford to properly court her or entertain her in the ways that she deems necessary or appropriate so he will just deal with the placeholder woman until he can afford to be with the dream girl he really is putting up with the placeholder woman he's with her by default she is not in any capacity the woman that he wants at the end of the day but yes he can't afford the dream girl right now he's building he's you know, he might still be in his residency in med school and he just doesn't have the money to do all of the extravagant things that he would like or that he dreams of doing, that every man dream, every masculine man dreams of doing for his woman, for his family, you know, so the placeholder girl, she'll have to do. And uh, men will often request and require their placeholder woman to go 50 50 on bills for example he'll ask her for money and uh, he he's going to exploit her on every level and he's asking her the placeholder woman to do things that he wouldn't even dream of asking his dream girl to do he would be so ashamed <laughs> to act this way in front of his dream woman but he can do it with a placeholder because she has really low standards she doesn't require much from him so everything is everything he doesn't cherish her femininity at all he doesn't even consider it it's not even a factor in their relationship he um he instead depletes her and drains her in every way that he can he really sees her as a stepping stone or an avenue to get to where he needs to go. The placeholder is really bringing him one step closer to his dream woman. He's actually, the funny thing is, he's actually in awe of how much he can get away with with the placeholder, but he would never admit it. Like he'll just ask or require something and then the fact that the placeholder or the pick me, these are usually pick me women, allows it the fact that she allows it he's just like wow okay and then he'll just go a step further with his next request 
so on and so forth but this awe should not be mistaken for respect or preference it's really just like oh wow she really has no standards or she has low standards let me just treat this like a money grab and get as much as i can out of here and then i'm out of here men will usually leave the placeholder woman when he either elevates to the point where he doesn't need to deal with a woman like her anymore like he can actually afford his dream woman so he'll like move on and suddenly the relationship will just like fizzle out and or uh if there's nothing else to exploit then he will just <laughs> there's nothing else for him to take so he will just move on to his next victim or his next person when we meet someone we put them in a category and even outside of dating in any social setting really we meet someone we assess them we assess how they talk how they speak how they carry themselves we then determine how much respect we should give them or how much value they have it's human nature and this is just the way it is ladies my gems it's time to look in the mirror with this information you can easily assess whichever relationship you're in you should be able to figure out how your man sees you based on the treatment he's giving you that's why i tell ladies and I promote women avoiding men who are in the building stage of their life. Your life is not going to get better after dealing with a man who's in a building stage of his life. I know he may be a surgeon one day, he may be a doctor one day, and he, he may be taking the necessary steps to arrive to that achievement. However, while he's in that building stage, you really should be dating other men and looking for men who have what you are looking for. I know that there are exceptions to this rule, of course. There are so many women who were uh, high school sweethearts or college sweethearts with their husband who was studying to be a doctor and they stayed together while he was doing his residency, his schooling and his state board and all of that. And they got married and they live a happy life. But more times than not, usually the woman who is building with the man or with the man who's in his building stage will get left behind because the man didn't want her in the first place. She was all he could really get. And ladies, it's, it's really important to position yourself so that you're never in a situation like that. And this may mean that you will have to be lonely or you might ha not have a man when everyone else has one, but you will be preserving a lot of your energy be able to make intentional decisions when it comes to the men that you spend your time with and you yeah you just have to use your discernment and this is the way it is so it's time to look in the mirror and ask yourself this relationship that i'm in am i his dream girl regardless of what he's saying because men can say anything we all know that they say these things so we can't really put as much emphasis on the things they say to us you really have to measure how he's treating you what he's requiring of you in the relationship does he actually care about you your soul your spirit how you're feeling um because i can assure you that if you're his dream woman especially if you're just in the dating stage you should not be experiencing some of these low vibrational experiences you know people take time to show their true colors like when after you get married or after babies are born people will change into their true self but when you're dating or getting to know people or you have a boyfriend you should really not be accepting certain treatment and if you are getting treated like that then you have to realize that you are the placeholder you're not his ultimate prize you're not the dream woman and you have to act accordingly or accept it and don't complain so i appreciate you guys listening to my video i hope you guys learned something um feel free to like and subscribe and i will see you guys on the next video bye